Central Arkansas Hall. There we go. And at University of Arkansas and the Museum of Natural History in New York. <laughs> Ready? Yep. If you find yourself under the knife for back surgery, there could be an extra set of hands, and that's what a Central Arkansas hospital's invested in. Doctors say it's improving their accuracy in one of the most sensitive parts of your body. Our Hillary Hunt joining us in the studio, and Hillary, you could say that these extra set of hands are missing joints. Yeah, they're more like bolts, Bob. It's a robot that specializes in spinal surgery, and the doctor who pushed for that big purchase tells me it's getting people not only in and out of the hospital, but back to an almost fully functioning life. Sleep, uh, accuracy has always been an issue. But accuracy is key when going under the knife for spinal surgery. And navigating that piece of your body isn't easy. A spinal cord, and uh, peripheral nerves and, and nerve roots and so on. But if you find yourself on Dr. Najum Kazimi's operating table like Don Burke's... I thought, this is just one step further in the basement of medicine. You may find he has some help. It didn't bother me at all that they were using a robot. From this, the Excelsius robot... In minimizing our incisions and minimizing our dissection pathway, we're able to allow faster recovery time and hopefully better and, and faster healing. Basically, the robot assists the doctor in surgery, mapping out a clearer path. It has the ability to place screws in other things during operation. And for surgeons like Dr. Kazimi, this robot is just a start. What's exciting for me about the robot is not just where it is right now, but some of the functions that it will be able to perform in the future. The price point is at about a million dollars, but UAMS is the only hospital performing surgeries with that exact robot you just saw. Guys, back to you. All right.